Inflating tubeless tyres can be a really difficult process, but it can be made a lot easier with the right pump. So today, we're pitting four of the best tubeless pumps against each other. Bontrager TLR flash charger. We've got the Beto tubeless tank. We've got the Zfel tubeless tank. And we've got the tyre booster from Schwalbe. So the way this test is going to work is that we're going to use all four pumps on both a 25 and a 32 millimeter tire. We're going to preload all four pumps to 160 psi and then we're going to look for the bead of each tire seating all the way around with no loss of air. The brilliant thing with the Bontrager is that it acts as both a pump and a charger. So we've got this one charged up to 160 psi. We've got it connected just as a standard pump would. And all we have to do now is flick this switch. Okay, attempt number three. We've tried to sort out the seating issue of the tire. Uh, let's hope this works. Next up is the Beto air tank. It's a standalone tank, so we need to connect a pump to get it up to 160 PSI. But all we've got to do now is flick a switch. Straight up. Next up is the Zfal tubeless tank. Now, as a tubeless tank, it needs to be pumped up. So we've recruited the help of the Lazine Sport Floor Drive. We've popped 160 PSI in this. It is rated up to 230 PSI. So it's better if you need it for track. As with the Bontrager, all we've got to do is push a button. Next up is the Schwalbe tire booster. Now this is just a tank, so we've put 160 PSI into it with a pump. Hopefully this one should just go straight up. Yep. Okay, so now we've got the Bontrager. It's going to try with this 32 millimeter cyclocross tire, larger volume. Let's see how it gets on. bit more of a struggle to get the beads sat all the way around but it looks like we've got good coverage so next up we've got the Beto to take on the cross tire now we have had to sub in the Bontrager as the Lazine broke but let's see how the Beto gets on with the cross one Again, it's just struggling to seat most of the tire. Next up is the z with the 32 mil tire. Let's see how that goes. Just. It was struggling a bit down here, but it has got there. So finally, we've got the Schwalb tire booster. Let's see how this gets on with the 32 mil. Straight up, looks like we've got the whole bead seated. That's really good. The Bontrager really impressed us, but it is the most expensive of the four. That said, however, it will do just about anything. Both the Zfal and the Beto tubeless tanks were fine at the 25 mil tire, but when we got onto the 32 mil, they kind of struggled. Coming in at 54.99, the Schwab is our favorite. It delivers high pressure really, really quickly, which meant that it didn't even struggle with the 32 mil option. You can, of course, check out the individual reviews. We'll put a link in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, there'll be more videos very, very soon. Thanks for watching.